Hey, Graham, and we're just going to see how you get on. No pressure, just a bit of fun. All right, so you ready? Here we go. Question number one is a science question, and it's designed to be a pretty easy one just to get you into it. What kind of animal can be 11 foot long and it's got subspecies called Siberian, Sumatran, and Bengal, and usually has orange and black stripes. What kind of animal is that? Tiger. Correct. See, it's that easy. You're off the you're off the mark. You got one point, and that's just uh, to make sure that nobody fails completely. So here we go. Here's question number two. It's a uh, uh, question about books. Who was the author of Sense and Sensibility? First published in 1811. And Jane Austen. Correct. Two points. This is so far so good. Two out of two. 100% so far. Question number three is an entertainment question. Now, you mentioned you were 11 in 1992, so you've got no chance here. This is before your time, but you might just pull it out. Which Scottish band uh, from the 1970s had their own television series called Shang Alang? Bay City Rollers. Yes, that's good stuff. You can, you I'm can glad. Go parties at my aunties when I was five for that. <laughs> Absolutely. This is what aunties are for, just to introduce you to the good stuff, the hard stuff. You know what I mean? Stuff your parents won't let you have. <laughs> here's some here's some here's some rollers, kids. <laughs> Get into this. Right. Along the way in this quiz, there's a couple of multiple choices just to make it easy. This is the first one, right? So in which year, this is a bit more difficult now. In which year did John Logie Baird uh give the first public demonstration of his television? Was it nineteen twenty six or nineteen? 36. 1926. Good answer. Yes, absolutely perfect. Yeah, do we think about that? Work, working out exactly when anyone might have them during a war. Yeah, a per really, really, really good answer. Right, okay, 100% so far, nothing dropped. We're on question number five. <clears throat> I'm getting a sense you'll know this one as well. Which German word... Uh, means lightning war and uh, was used to great effect during the Second World War. Blitzkrieg. Perfect. Great stuff. You're going great, Graham. You're, you've got everything right so far. Uh, we're into the second half. These get a little bit more difficult now. Question number six oh, is... Sorry, that's all. <laughs> uh, aye, well, I'll let you know. Um, <laughs> mind you, that means I've got to add up on the fly, so maybe I won't <laughs> let you know. I'll probably let you know at the end. Uh, number six, in which century did the Guinness Brewery begin operations in Dublin? So you don't have to get the exact year, just the century. 18th century. Is correct. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's the date that's on the uh, <laughs> on the logo, on the label. Do you know the date off the top? I mean, no extra what, points here, but... What is this, 1796? So, uh, well, 1759 it is. So well. it's... Uh, but you got the century, and that's that's what counted. Hundred percent so far. Number seven is your other multiple choice question. Back to literature again. In the name D. H. Lawrence, uh, what does the letter D stand for? Is it David or Dennis? David. That is correct. Another good answer. Brilliant. I don't. And again, no extra points. Do you know what the H stands for? I haven't got a clue. David was a just a guess. <laughs> right. Aye, David Herbert. David yeah. Herbert Lawrence. Um, but there you go. Right. The last three are usually a lot more difficult. Uh, number eight is this. And by the way, you've definitely passed the Tory now. You're, you're above the Conservative Party. Uh, so into which gulf, this is a geography question, into which gulf does the Colorado River eventually flow? That's the river that goes through the Grand Canyon. What is the name of the gulf that it eventually empties into? It's the Gulf of Mexico eventually. No, that's, that's uh, it's not a bad answer. It's the other side of Mexico. It's the Gulf of California. It's the west side. Uh, but that is a difficult one, right? Two questions left. Number nine for nine points. There are two planets in the solar system that have no moons. One of them is Mercury. What is the other one? If I don't get this, my six-year-old will kill me because she knows she knows, she knows knows this. Can I go and wake her up? <laughs> That's the stuff they know about. Uh, my my kid knew all about Jupiter when she was six. Yeah, it's great. Venus? Yes! Brilliant. Honestly, I'd have got into trouble if I hadn't got that right. That's the first time I've seen you actually slightly shaken. <laughs> Going for the drink as well. Mm. Have to face the kid. What's your daughter called? Hannah. 
Hannah, you have to look Hannah right in the eye and said, I got a Venus question wrong. Batter. <laughs> <laughs> now you get the chocolate. You'll get the book and make me do revision. Absolutely. <laughs> These six-year-olds are unforgiving. Right. Okay, last question. This is going extremely well. This is going to be a top, top score. And um the last one you have to get within two years, right? Uh, it's a what year question. You have to get within two years. What year was the first year that Pete Sampras, the tennis player, won his first Grand Slam title, which happened to be the US Open? Okay. So the first time that Pete Sampras was uh, a champion at a Grand Slam tournament, what year was it? You have to get within two years. I think you heard the end of the quiz, so that you, you, know, you know how this works. Pete Sampras. 1994. You're just a bit too late. It's 1990. I thought you were going to get it, to be honest, but uh, it's bad luck. So you got the number 10 wrong and you got the number 8 wrong. So it's 18 points off of 55. So you score 37. Oh, That's great. Of course you'll take that. That's what you get. 